Hey guys, happy Saturday to everybody. So you guys are seeing a video from me today because hubby took baby girl to her cousin's house so that she could have a little bit of play time and I could have some quiet time. So I remembered when I was cleaning up the kitchen that I totally forgot to mention this mascara in my favorites video yesterday. So I'm just going to do a little review on it to let you guys know a little bit more about it because I think it is an absolutely fantastic product for like $4.50. So this is the CoverGirl Professional Super, Super Thick Lash Mascara and I have it in the color very black and I just found this at my local Target. By the way, this mascara um, has been in the CoverGirl line for a really long time. I think I remember using this when I was like in high school. So this has been around for a while and I don't know why I ever stopped buying it, probably because there's a million different things to try all the time. But I do remember liking this a lot and um, I've seen Kristen Game talking about it several times and I was always like, oh yeah, that is good stuff, like I should pick it up. And then finally the other day, or I think it was last week sometime, I saw it at Target and I was like, I, I need to get this. Like I said, I think I paid $4.49 for it, um, Target kind of has weird pricing sometimes, um, but I've been using it ever since and I love it. It is a beautiful, fabulous, fantastic everyday mascara. I really, really like this a lot. So the wand is a traditional bristle brush. So you can see that it's nice and tapered. I did give mine a little bit of like a curve. I do that with all of my mascaras. I, When I first get them, I kind of bend them a little bit. So just so that they fit the shape of my eye a little bit better. Um, now, if you do this, it does sort of mess with the, um, the mascara a little bit in that you do get out a little bit more than you probably want. So I have been wiping this off just on a tissue before I use it. So I'll get kind of the excess off. You can see there's quite a bit, basically like the back the back part of the wand and then in the front I'll just kind of get that off of there and then I'll use it but this is just a great regular bristle brush you can see that it's pretty densely packed but there are like a good there is a good amount of space between each of like the sets of bristles if that makes sense so that you don't have to like work extra hard at getting it into the base of your lashes and I'll show you the good comparison would be the Best Slash Extreme from Jordana. These are really tightly packed bristles that have a lot of product between the um, each of the sets of bristles that, I mean, I don't, you can't even really see it. Like, there's just a lot of product between there. So I can see where some people have an issue with this particular mascara because it deposits quite a bit so it can get clumpy. For me, I know how to work with it to make it really um, work well for me. And part of it is that I use a lash comb. I use a metal one like this. I prefer these over the plastic ones. So I don't have an issue with that. This works really well for me. And this is a holy grail and I will repurchase it time and time again. But I would say that this particular mascara might be a little bit more friendly to more people just because I think the brush is going to be a little bit easier to use. The formula is a little bit on the drier side, which is a good thing. I prefer that because that helps with volumizing. Formulas that are really, really wet or more liquidy tend to be better for um, lengthening your lashes. I am not really so much after length as I am after volume when I'm using mascara. I find that this particular one is great for kind of an everyday volume look, if that makes sense. So it's not going to give you like outrageous volume, but it is great for just an easy everyday application. I think if you wanted to work with it a little bit more and build it up and build it up, you could probably do that. Um, but it just, it works so great for every day. I find that I like the Best Lash Extreme for like really building up volume because the formula just tends to be better for that, at least for me. But 
this is absolutely fantastic and it's so inexpensive compared to most mascaras because like I said this has been in the CoverGirl line for years and years and years. So I did not get any flaking with this. I didn't get any smudging. I didn't get any transfer. Um, transferring is not something that I normally have an issue with. My eyes aren't crazy hooded so I guess I'm kind of lucky in that way. But you know even on my lower lash line I didn't find it transferring there. So yeah, I've just, I've had a really great experience with this and I wanted to make sure to be able to tell you guys about it because it's, like I said, it is so inexpensive and it's just such an everyday, like, awesome product. So, yeah, pick it up. This is what it looks like in the tube. So pretty plain. I mean, packaging is not fancy, but it really doesn't need to be. So if you are not a fan of the Jordana Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara, give this one a try. I think you might like it better. So there you go. If you guys have any questions, definitely leave me a comment down below. And if you're wondering what's on my lips, so yesterday I picked up um, a new Revlon Color Burst Lip Butter in Sugar Plum. So I think I mentioned in my video yesterday that I was looking for like the perfect plummy lip for fall. I think I finally found it. So that is what I'm wearing. It's built up a little bit, but if I only do like one or two swipes of it, it um, it's even sheerer and super pretty that way as well. But anyway, I love this. So if you are a little bit nervous about colors, <laughs> especially plums for fall. This one I think would be super flattering on a wide variety of skin tones, skin tones and um, especially those of us who aren't quite as comfortable with a bolder lip. So there you have it. Again, let me know if you guys have any questions and I hope that everybody is having a fantastic first weekend of November and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.